Hey all here OS Reviews. About two years ago we checked out the Moft folding laptop stands and I thought it worked quite well for something super slim but allows you to type and just have the screen elevated at an angle that's a bit more ergonomic and it just universally attaches onto the back of any laptop it then folds down doesn't really take up any space so these laptop stands have been pretty popular over the past two years but perhaps one of the only concerns especially with ultra portables and fanless computers is by covering up the back you are also making it a little harder for the heat to dissipate and as a result it can make your laptop a little warmer so as a response to that if you're working with a laptop that tends to heat up more quickly they've brought out a new model that is the moft cooling laptop stand it still looks exactly the same and works in the same way as the original so it's really using this material to cool down the temperature by a few degrees. It's not going to be actively cooled using anything like semiconductors or a fan, but rather just this surface. It can be folded completely flat, 15 degrees or up to 25 degrees, still claiming to hold up to 18 pounds. Now the early bird price will start at around 30 bucks a pop, so pretty similar to what the original sold at, uh, but again just adds this film which is made out of graphene. In terms of how it works, basically the entire back here will then dissipate the heat more outwards claims up to five degrees celsius on average and they claim that this texture which is again this fabric like vegan leather is also going to be wear resistant if you get some marks or food on it it should be easy to wipe out and on the inside we have just the really laptop stand itself wrapped in this tissue paper we can pop this open and on the inside we will have just a quick start guide that tells you how to set it up we'll also have access just to the cooling stand which we can see here has the graphene kind of logo here that's etched and also some of the specs in terms of the thermal conductivity and how much it's diffusing the temperature also etched onto the side soft to the touch and has this kind of nano texture going on very similar to the original laptop stand but it has some slight differences the previous model is more of a fabric texture but that's probably because of the added durability in terms of easier to wipe down the dimensions are exactly the same as you can see there it really is just adding that back layer for graphene onto this section so i'm going to attach it onto this particular laptop and i will just go ahead and again peel off the adhesive which by the way is just the 3m sticky tape so it shouldn't leave any residue afterwards let's go ahead and just press down and uh Overall, apply just a little bit of weight to make sure it attaches properly. So in this case, I think it's good enough, but still it's maybe partially blocking the edges here of the feet. Again, depending on how large your laptop is and the design that it's using there. But overall, since this material will be lifted up a little bit, it will be touching the surface of a desk. And thankfully, it is a pretty grippy texture, so you don't really have to rely on the feet naturally on your computer. It won't really slide around on a desk, as you can see there, even if you are putting it down. Afterwards, it functions in exactly the same way as the original, so you can see that this portion with the graphene has been properly attached onto the back of your laptop, and you can even tell some of those micro dots of where that graphene material is trying to work its magic. And then, in terms of the magnets, still very strong, so it doesn't really flop around. So there we go, we still have a pretty stiff portfolio, and if we are opening up our laptop, doing things like typing and pressing down on the keyboard deck, you can see that everything still remains quite stable, thanks to that soft touch rubber pad there, which is applying a tight grip onto the surface. Similar to before, here's another profile view from the side. This is basically the high profile mode at 25 degrees. Let's try going to the low mode just by flicking this portion down, as you can see there. This is a more subtle tilt, but overall adds even more rigidity. So this one really doesn't flex at all, even if you are putting a ton of weight on it. It doesn't become distracting. In fact, it really just improves the overall work experience. And again, just the same remarks as we said about the original Moft. As far as laptop stands are concerned, I think this is one of the more clever, compact designs that does work surprisingly well. It makes a subtle difference in terms of the cooling as well. It doesn't become quite as hot, especially if you are charging your laptop while using it. But after 30 minutes of usage, a laptop without the stand typically will get around 42 degrees in Celsius versus with the stand, it's going to be around 40.5 degrees. So about 
2 degrees Celsius in that initial 30 minute range, and then moving into one hour, repeating the test again, the difference is a little bit more obvious. Temperature difference here about 3 degrees Celsius can now be felt. So overall the rating there of around 5 degrees, that will depend on your device, as well as what your surrounding temperature in the room is, and also where you're measuring from the front versus the back of the computer. But on average, I would say 3 to 4 degrees Celsius is fair, and you're not going to get, let's say, 10 degrees difference, which is super significant. However, it will still help you definitely in a pinch. It just makes it feel ever so slightly cooler and uh, prevents things from overheating quite as much. So that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review, initial look at the Moft Cooling Invisible Laptop Stand. Pretty much preserves the exact same design as the original, which I do think is good because it's sleek, it's compact, doesn't really take up any space, and also works surprisingly well as far as providing a nice grip. Overall, I would say if you are using the original and your computer doesn't really have any overheating issues, this probably isn't something that you have to upgrade to, but considering that both can be found at a similar price point if you're looking for a new laptop stand, you don't have the previous model, this is probably going to be a stronger choice as a result. So you can check out more details if you're interested in links below for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.